Well, hello there, folks. Happy Saturday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual. And thanks for taking five minutes out of your day just to spend with me and I will run you through what I got for the family food shop this week. But if you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We're a wee family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland. And it would be lovely to see you again. So if you do like these kinds of videos, why not consider subscribing just before you go and give the video a like on your way out if you did like the video. So like I said, we're going to Sainsbury's and also a few things from Tesco. So I was 73, 63 in Sainsbury's and about £12 in Tesco. So a wee bit higher than normal, but yeah, you've just got, you, you kind of expect that when you go to these kinds of shops. So I've got a few pots of double cream for a couple of recipes that I've got coming up. Also needed single cream as well, which I don't use very often. Mr. Watts for tea strawberry trifles. So that's just basically strawberries and fruit jelly and custard and cream on the top for those who have asked. A couple of these wee fruit corners, so you've got yoghurt in one corner and the party is on the other side. It's usually some kind of fruit puree or biscuits and you just mix them in together and they are lovely. Those were an offer. And then I've got a wee leek here, the longest, skinniest leek I think I've seen in my entire life. So that is for a recipe as well. A bag of onions and then some bananas as well. Mr What's For Tea likes a banana, I'm not so keen. And then a head of cauliflower. And then the smallest cabbage I think I've ever seen in my life. My hands are quite small. And this thing is about the size of a large orange. So yeah, not super chuffed with that. Some garlic bread and also a garlic bulb. And then we're going to be having stir fry. So I've got some stir fry mix. And then six eggs as well. And these ones are, you know, they're really nice. The, the yolks are really orange. I needed some smoked cheese for a recipe that I've got coming up. This is for a sort of smoky cheese sauce that I'm going to be doing. And then I was looking for grated Parmesan, couldn't find any, so I got this one. And I don't imagine there's going to be much difference. A pot plant, <laughs> this, is, this is my parsley plant. I love parsley, but it does end up going on everything if I've got one to use up. I needed some cling film, some tin foil, and also some Ziploc bags, some runner beans for the side of something, and some mini chicken breast for the stir fry. And then a pot of this ready-made custry, custry, custard, just to go with some cake. A couple of bags of bread flour. One of these was a substitution, but they're more or less the same. I don't suppose it's going to make any difference. Some mustard seeds and also some nutmeg for a couple of recipes that I have coming up. And I will tell you about one of them just, you know, just at the end of the, the video here. I needed some cooking salt or table salt, a couple of packs of shredded ham hock, again, for a recipe. I forgot to get sausages from the butcher, so I picked these up from a local shop and they are butcher sausage, so they'll be fine. Some ham stock and then a small smoked gammon just for the slow cooker. I think we'll have that on Sunday or maybe during the week. Some washing up powder. Who remembers washing up powder? And then some sandwich bags. These chocolates are for a wee gift for a friend of mine. And I thought they looked really nice. You know, they're inspired by dessert. So yeah, I would like those for myself actually. But these are for a wee gift. And then I got this iced Madeira cake just to have with the custard that you've seen earlier. And then these wee lint balls are one of my favourites. These strawberry and cream ones are lovely. Got this for Mr. Watts for tea. This pasta and sauce here. I'm going to try and copy this for a recipe. And I've actually hunted down the exact pasta that they use in this. I got it on Amazon and this is it here. It was only, I think it was 170 or 180 a bag with free delivery because obviously I've got Amazon Prime. So bargain. And then some homemade chips for the freezer and then some of these crisps as well for the snack drawer. So like, and then Jasper snacks just at the end. So like I said, I'm going to try and recreate the Bachelor's pasta and sauce because it is lovely. And it's a kind of savoury, white, cheesy based sauce and you've got leeks in there and ham in there and that lovely round pasta. So I'm going to give that a go and that might be coming up soon, depending on how it goes, of course. But I was really chuffed, you know, at finding the exact pasta. Because I think these things matter. You know, if you're trying to recreate something that already exists, try and get as close as you can to the original. So that was everything that I got my wee rant about my pasta. So thank you very much for watching. If you're leaving 
at this point. And thank you all for your support over my Patreon page to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And for you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. You know, I'm just blown away by the support that I get and you're all marvellous. So thank you all for watching, like I said. And I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping, unbagging or even back on Sunday for meals of the week. So whenever you choose to join me again, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you off soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.